Well, the biggest upset of the tournament, biggest upset of the year, really, this year, was Sam Querrey beating Novak Djokovic, who has been so dominant in major championships. Uh, but Sam is, is so dangerous. We've seen the huge serve and the huge forehand, and now he has a big test against a player that plays a similar brand of tennis. Milos Raonic, huge serve, huge forehand. He's played so well on the grass. He was up a set and a break in the finals of Queens Club. Sam will draw some confidence from beating Raonic at Wimbledon in 2012. Uh, really, that match is going to come down to such a handful of points, probably some tie breaks. Uh, both players playing with a lot of confidence. Both are shot makers. Uh, it should be exciting. I'd give Raonic a bit of an edge just because he's played so many big matches in the later stages of slams relative to Sam. Uh, but Sam's playing with a lot of confidence and anything could happen. The federer Chilich match is mouth-watering. Uh, they haven't played since Chilich beat him in the semifinals of the US Open when he went on to win it in 2014. Uh, it's the only time Chilich has beaten Federer. They've played six times, but these are good conditions for Chilich. First strike tennis, aggressive tennis, but of course, center court is Roger Federer's home. His variety, his skill, his comfort level moving on the grass is exceptional. He does a great job using different spins and different paces uh, to break players' rhythm, especially players like Marin Cilic, who are really linear ball strikers, hit the ball so flat. Federer hasn't played that many matches this year, so when he's really tested at the highest levels, it'll be interesting to see uh, how he responds. Lucas Puy's had an incredible run, really, throughout 2016, but now at a major championship, getting to his first quarter final. Uh, he's played a lot of tennis uh, this year and uh, this fortnight. Uh, as a Burdick, uh, getting uh, through a five-setter against his compatriot. Uh, Burdick has a lot of experience. He's been to the finals here before, hits the ball very hard and flat. These are good conditions for him. It'll be interesting to see how Puy responds to such a big moment. That should be an interesting encounter uh, with Burdick obviously having a huge edge in experience. Andy Murray has been so impressive this year, but really as of late, winning at Queens Club. Uh, he's been dominant here thus far. Uh, he played almost perfect tennis against Kyrgios. He's beaten Sangha twice here before. He's 12 and two overall against Sangha. I think Murray's a heavy favorite. Uh, it just seems like there's a level of destiny with Murray this year at the championships, obviously working with uh, Lendl. That seems to have had an immediate impact, especially with the accountability of his attitude on court and the style of play. He's super aggressive. He's standing in, uh, super focused. I think there's a big advantage for Murray in that matchup with the backhand to backhand pattern and Murray does such a great job of breaking down opponents weaknesses. Sango would have to have a huge serving day, get a ton of free points and put a lot of forward pressure on Murray to win that match. Uh, but I think Murray is poised for a run to the final.